All right, folks, I uh, bought another car to fix up here for uh, YouTube so you guys can watch along progress with uh, just common basic problems with uh, these cars. Um, this is the 06 through 2011 Honda Civic. Um, really, there's nothing major problems with these cars. Motors seem to last forever. Transmission seems to last for a long time. Um, just a few little things, just normal stuff. Um, so it's a car that I'd highly recommend for people to buy, just... You know, not like buying a car that's going to have an engine problem or a transmission problem. But, um, so I purchased this one cheap. Um, paid $1,500. It's an 07 with 213,000 miles. Um, and just a few common things that we're going to fix over the next few months on the car. Um, it does have a check engine light for coolant temperature below threshold. So the car run, the temperature of the motor just runs a little bit cool, which is fine, but we're going to address that problem and fix it. Um, the tires are kind of worn out, so we're going to replace the tires. Um, brakes and rotors, uh, we're going to do a brake job on this car. The CV axles in the front, um, the boots aren't ripped, but both the CV axles do make a little bit of clicking noise, so we'll be replacing CV axles. Um, several of the light bulbs around just like a brake light a third brake light license plate lights those kind of things we'll address the air conditioning um, isn't working right now but i have put a gauge on it and it is fully charged so it doesn't have a leak um, could be wiring could be the ac clutch uh, we'll sh i'll show you how to check that and see which one it needs to be replaced or fixed um, it does have a little body damage but nothing major uh, the fender here has a dent. The door has a dent. Um, so these are pretty common cars. I'm hoping maybe find a used fender or used door in a junkyard. Um, maybe in the color of silver, but if I have to get another color, we can get that painted. I'm trying to think what else. Um, we'll be changing the oil, uh, oil filter. Uh, we'll do a cabin air filter, the engine air filter, that kind of stuff. Um, everything seems to work inside the car. Oh, I'm sorry. The radio seems to come on, but the speakers aren't playing any sound. So we'll pull a speaker out and we'll test it and see if the speakers are bad or if maybe the amplifier in the radio is bad. Um, it does have a crack here in the rear bumper. We'll get a new rear bumper cover. The taillight's cracked. We'll get a new taillight and we'll replace that. Oh, another thing, um, the muffler is missing. I went ahead and already ordered a new factory replacement muffler, muffler for it, so I'll show you how to install the new muffler. Um, both of the license plate lights are out, so I think we'll replace both the license plate lights with the newer LED version of them. Um, but all in all, is this going to be the worst $1,500 investment I've ever made or the best $1,500 investment I've ever made? So the main thing for me is I drive about 65 miles a day to and from work. So I just like cheap cars that are good on gas that people can afford. But um, I've watched several videos on YouTube, particularly of these cars going 300 to 500,000 miles with the original motor, original transmission. So with this having 213,000 miles, it doesn't scare me or anything like that. Um, I just, you know, I, I trust the motor, I trust the transmission, it's just little things that most, you know, can go wrong with the car. Um, interior is in all right shape. No major rips, no major wear. Um, could use a good cleaning though. So we'll, I'll clean up the inside of the car. But uh, first I like to address the radio because, you know, it is kind of boring driving a car with no radio. So we'll get the radio fixed right away. Um, like I said, I ordered a muffler. We'll get to that right away. Um, then we'll do, like, before winter, I'm going to get tires for the vehicle. Uh, we'll probably do CV axle. The brakes, really don't have a problem with the brakes. There's just a brake pulsation when you hit the brakes at high speeds. But uh, otherwise, brake pads themselves, they're not making any noise or no problems there, really. We'll, uh, I'll try to clean up the headlights, make them look, look a little bit clearer. Uh, we'll probably do LED headlights for the car to says better visibility at nighttime. We'll do LED low beam bulbs and we'll do LED high beam bulbs. Another thing that I don't like is 
this is to each their end. The car has factory daytime running lights. It's just the, uh, the, it's the bright lights running on low power. So they're just really dull and they're brownish yellow looking. So I'll find a way to uh, disconnect the uh, daytime running lights just because there's, you know, many cars out there that don't have daytime running lights, but this car has them and I just don't care for them really. But, uh, all in all, it's not a bad car. Um, if there's a problem with any of your 06 through 11 Civics that you'd like me to try to address, I'll be more than glad to do that for you guys. But, uh, just stay along for the ride and I'll fix this thing up and make a decent daily driver out of it. <clears throat> Thanks for watching my channel guys, and here is to the next uh, $1,500 project car. Thanks for watching today. Hey guys, if you like my video, you can check out other videos right here, just like it. Please hit my subscribe button, and thanks for watching.